Isaiah Stewart may be spending some time on Chilligan's Island after reportedly punching Drew Eubanks before the Pistons Suns game Wednesday night. Uh, Shams detailed the situation. Did you just say reportedly? Oh no, he fucking punched him. Yeah, he, no, no, he, punch. he went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> He punched. Y'all released? No, he got released. But you went. So, uh, <laughs> he didn't go to jail, jail. Yes, he did. Nigga, he had to post bond. So, he was in the back room. No, nigga, they put that nigga in cuffs. So according to Shams, uh, Isaiah Stewart punched Ebanks in the back tunnels of the Suns Arena today. Unclear what sparked the altercation. Uh, the NBA expected to receive the video review. So both Stewart and Eubanks were going chest to chest before a swing to Eubanks' face connected on Wednesday. Both were separated, and there is police presence involved with the situation. Then later it was reported that Stewart was arrested by Phoenix police for assaulting Eubanks, later released, uh, receiving a citation, but the investigation is ongoing. Um, gentlemen, good, you know, we've had some run-ins with Beef Stewart. Our- nah, we didn't have no run-ins, goddammit. I ran away. Yes. <laughs> My feet worked well. Uh-huh. I'm not Eubanks, baby. I know how to move backwards. See, that's what I've been, see, when I was running track, right, they teach us how to use our hamstrings to go back, right? <laughs> to work back, right? And I, I put mine to use. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. It's a big gentleman, <laughs> I'll be honest. I was in the vicinity, Gil. I was not gonna help you, unfortunately. Yeah, hey, listen, You've done a lot for me and my family, but I gotta protect these looks. This What's still Vegas? left of them? What? This is in Vegas? Uh, Which one? Tacoma. We were Tacoma. at the Zeke Inn. Oh. Shout out Isaiah Thomas, invited to the Zeke Inn. Oh. Gil was uh, talking to Brandon Roy. Rashad was in the vicinity as well. Mm-hmm. Isaiah Stewart, I think very similar, similar way, situation to what Sean described. Because he wrote up on <laughs> Gil. Gil didn't really know what the fuck was going on at first. Like, yo, what's up? No, it was not a what's up situation. <laughs> we had our underdog crew, but. Not very, you know, not gentlemen I would go to a fight with. No disrespect to the underdog fantasy crew. You know, we had, we had very some... Very fine people would not walk down a dark alley with your gentlemen. That's the difference between me. Like, so when people talk about Gil, you, your IQ ain't, you know, high. <laughs> Shit, you crazy as hell. Just let you know, huh? I dodged a beat down because oh. I, I seen it coming. Ooh, shitty, moving a little fast, talking a little slow. <laughs> Tell that nigga in real time, nigga, you touch me, nigga, I'm suing the fuck out of you. <laughs> touch me and I'll sue. Hey, tell him that ring out. <laughs> touch me, nigga, I'm suing you. Like, Everybody you in the chat. Then, you, the- <laughs> no, but the people that settle and shit, uh-huh. they need it, mm-hmm. right? Oh, no, nigga, I'm going to drag you across <laughs> drag the cold, across bro. The <laughs> like, if I'm in that moment, if I was you in that moment, t- I'm suing you, nigga. Yeah. For me, not, <laughs> you ain't getting out of this one for 150. <laughs> and for everybody in the chat who has an opinion, uh, I challenge you to go fight Beef Stew. Don't do it. Video. No, don't do it. Tough. No, because he has, he has a whole different energy built inside. Like, this is why I know that. It is Valent- This is Love Day. <laughs> he pulled up another <laughs> day. This is Love Day. Like, we thinking about love. <laughs> Hearts and roses. He got off the bus <laughs> thinking ass <laughs> I'm going to spread the love, all right. What? He got off the bus looking for a motherfucker that said something to him probably last year or last game. Yeah. Very, very. The last time they played, probably last month. Look, look, got off the bus at shoot around. Oh, one. <laughs> Where he at? They been like, I know he better not be in this motherfucking gym when I yeah. get here. Beef still very, very good photographic memory, remember things. <laughs> Because he, he came up with you, Gil. He was like, wait, I had to scroll back in your ID. Yeah, I know you had to fuck. scroll. I was like, like, wait I was like video? What the fuck like, are we talking about him? I'm like, Gil's arena. When, and it's like, nah, we talked about him on your IG. IG? Episode of a, another show that we did. Uh, this was after the altercation with LeBron when he tried to run through. Yeah. So yeah. what did you say to piss him off? This is what I said. I said, yo, we in the NBA, we don't fight. We got to pretend we want to fight for the fans, right? So wait till your teammates, wait till your teammates get around you and hold you back. Then you go tough. That's what you're supposed to do. Save you a lot of money that way. I, I, I think the, his, how he read it, because, you know, he probably went to public school. So how he read it, he read you waited till my, your teammates got around you before you acted tough. Yeah. So he was like, I ain't got my teammates around me now. So what's up? Mm. I don't as much as I wanted to say, I don't think you read that right, big fella. <laughs> I didn't want those problems. You can't tell a slow motherfucker they slow yeah. in real time. <laughs> uh, and, okay, proceeding. You can't, you can't Proceeding. 
we may or may not be at the ZK again this summer. We will have. <laughs> I'm going to wear bulletproof vests next time. Heavy, sec uh, heavy security presence. I don't know how that's help. <laughs> heavy security presence. Uh, we might need to bring Mike Tyson <laughs> as our personal security. No, nah, but it, like on the real, uh, this is one of those situations like when, all right, just, just you know, assault in the NBA is any fight. Right, so it, they treat it just like assault in in the world, but ours is a little bit different because the other person has to press charges, and when you get hit in the NBA, nobody's really pressing charges like that, right? I would. Yeah. <laughs> so no. What, what color is Eubank's skin? White. But see, this is what happened because <laughs> I already I already asked somebody. They said what they said what had happened. So they, they they told me this. They said. He didn't go to jail, jail. Okay, like, so they he, he didn't get handcuffed and go to the prison. Oh, they should. Because, you know, you know, now the team security got to follow him, make sure nothing happened to him and do all that. So they just had his ass a little hole in the room. It's your black ass down. No lessons learned. Yeah, yeah, no, no of course not. No but, lessons learned. But then what they said is, like, because it's Phoenix Suns, Phoenix Suns will have to press charges. The NBA will call and say, let it go, and then they're going to drop the charge. I'm with it. And keep it moving. Because, you know, any fight when... Uh, when Kobe got two pieced by what's the name? Any fight in the NBA, First trial, yeah. yeah, that can be considered assault. You know, so like I, when I heard, I was like, police got involved. Like police, like outside police. Yeah, that's crazy. But I, you know, oh, that's because it's usually in. it's usually in house. Yeah, they should have put his ass in cuffs and t drove his ass away. So put lessons, fear in him. Yeah, that's absolutely. Lessons right. learned. Took his ass, booked him. And, listen, hey, you gonna let, gotta let, learn something. <laughs> and, I, and I think that's I think that's the the part that's with the NBA. We because we don't get penalized in real time for regular shit. Yeah. We don't stop the behavior. Not at all. Like you know me, like bringing a gun to the locker room. Like I didn't get arrested. There was no police involved. Yeah. Like there was no police. As many times as I run BB guns and paintballs and all, there was no like yeah. police. Y'all had no jurisdiction over here. Yeah. yeah. Like, who's, <laughs> so, who's telling on us? Like you know what I mean. So I think sometimes we become, yeah. you know, uh, enemies of ourselves and we get over. You know. So a question for both of y'all. Tremendous amount of NBA experience. How much stuff goes down in the tunnel before and after games? I've never heard before. Like, the before has to be some shit brewing. Off the bus, just ready to... Like, that has to be some shit brewing, personal shit. Yeah, that was some overlapping shit. Yeah. You, you, ain't, you ain't coming to shoot around on one. Yeah. So that's, that's, the only time, that's the only time you're seeing each other on game days that shoot around. Shoot around? Before the game? Like, it's... You get there early, like, they, what he got there, what... They stopped that shit because of Oak. Yeah, like. <laughs> they stopped that because of Oak when you like, one team is working out and then the other team actually like Walks come in, in, mingle, they talk, and then they. Yeah. And then when Oakley uh, put somebody to sleep, they go ahead, hold on, y'all gonna have to wait a little bit. Yeah. But uh, like, I, I've never, I've never, just, just the Oakley and that one is probably the only ones I've heard of. Bef George McLeod and Ron Mercer. Yeah, uh, so let's talk about you know, the most infamous one, Kermit Washington and Rudy Tomjanovich. Oh, that was on the floor, though. That was Ray, on the floor. I'm, I'm saying, but no, I think... Uh, <clears throat> like, but, like, that was my thing. Well, we, we on so... We used to be in Denver, you know, you, um, you know how the buses was in Denver. Mm -hmm. Like, I, after I couldn't do nothing to you in the game, uh -huh. after I was warned... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna tell you, listen, leave your basketball shoes on. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna see you by the bus. <laughs> You know, because we had to walk by the bus to go to our car. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I just... So, we, we got a, a question from the audience. Never regard. did, but that was the threat. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was the threat. Oh, that was the Keep threat. Keep your basketball shoes Keep, on. Yeah, yeah, because you're going to need them. But no, I know you never got to that. They either, yeah, either had team security or the police walking them out. Mm -hmm. Audience, audience question. Yeah, never got How to that. How many though. fights did you guys see that the media didn't find out about? How many fights did we see that the media didn't find out about? Shit. Well, we are the media now, so they about to find out. <laughs> nah, I mean, I've seen a few. I, shit. Um, mm -hmm. Denver, George McLeod, Danny Fortson. Right? So this is what they, mm. so they scuffling on the court, right? Just, to, you know, like two rhinos. Just, mm -hmm. ah, 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 right? And what ended up happening is McLeod got hit in the eye, right? So Danny somehow got him in the eye on the move, and they gave... 
they kicked, <laughs> they kicked McLeod out. They kicked him out, not Danny. And he went level 10, right? He went level 10. The game ended. So, like, Danny went in, and I'm coming last. I don't know where George came from. He missed Danny, and I was the next person he, he saw or something. And he left shoulder, big hand, boom. Like, oh, uh-huh. He <laughs> <It> wasn't <laughs> me. <laughs> like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Broke me down. He was like, tell, tell Danny, bitch ass, I'm outside. Uh, all, all, all right, <laughs> get in there. Go, right, get in there and say, "Hey, uh, yo, Dad, uh, uh, the McLeod dude, McLeod dude said he he gonna be waiting out there." Danny did this dog. Then he said, "Oh, really? Oh, he said he out there." He pulls down his socks. Boop, razor blade, razor blade. <laughs> what? <laughs> he had razor blade, like you know, like like it didn't just he didn't just put it in there. He had it in there because when he took it. It's white, like it's this ash, like it's like it's been there the whole game. He's like, yeah, I had, a, I had a problem with him for a long time. I'm about to go, like, and I'm sitting here like, this is crazy. He had, he played the, the game with the razor blades. <laughs> That's the wildest shit I've heard. <laughs> I was like, yo, something wrong. <laughs> something, What's wrong something wrong with, wrong with Danny. Something wrong with him. Oh, we know something. He wrong was with quiet him. as hell, but that was something wrong with him. Turn him on. Both you motherfuckers are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we have some Marcus Johnson theme sound bites coming. He'll be pulling up the show in hey. just a little bit. Turn him on. Yeah, be quiet. That was the craziest thing I've seen. Like, oh, that's the craziest thing I didn't heard. <laughs> razor blades in the socks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, man, fights happen all the time in practice. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people not fighting for job, man, fighting for minutes. You know, people don't know what guys are going through at home. Girl cheated on them, dog died, whatever. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I don't know what. You get into practice and motherfucker busting your ass one day and you get to yapping and say the wrong thing. It, hey, tempers flare. It, it happens all the time, man. Or you, or you get to playing and somebody call you the wrong, yeah. <laughs> wrong word and it's on site. So, no, nah, it, it happens all the time, man. Um, Fucking Nene uh, wrapped his hands around Steve Blake's neck. Uh -huh. Steve Blake's daddy was in there watching practice. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo. Not in front of the man. So. Did, did the Steve Blake swing, though, at least? What? Four, five, six, six times. Yeah, yeah, dunga, yeah. Dunga, yeah. Dunga, 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 dunga. <laughs> Yo. Hell yeah, he gonna let me go. Uh -huh. Steve Blake's funny, dog. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, he ain't no ho. He ain't no. Steve Blake ain't no. Listen, all right, yeah. You can search videos on YouTube that confirm uh, nah, what Steve Blake is crazy, man. Steve Blake got the Maryland fight. Yeah. Yeah, he was getting into it. Steve Blake with it. Like, he, like, <laughs> like, boy, you can't, you ain't gonna beat nobody, but then he always gonna stand yeah. on his own. Oh, oh he's he standing on business. He's amazing. I mean, JaVale, JaVale beat up Andre Blodge a couple times on a plane. <laughs> In flight? In, uh, they, they fought all the time. In flight, headlocks, headlock in the seats and shit. <laughs> Them dudes too big to be hey, The funny part is, they sat next to each other. Sitting there just arguing all the time. Yeah, I, see, yeah. Stand up then. Headlock. <laughs> sit back down, goddammit. Like, you should like, yo, what's wrong with y'all? Headlock, finish, break it up, they sit right back next to each other talking shit. And then Kendall Gill choked out Jim McIlvain my rookie year. Yeah, the legend Jim McIlvain. Hey. <laughs> Choked him the fuck out in practice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Got his big ass on the ground and choked him. I'll kill you in this bitch. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I train to fight every day. I'll kill you in this motherfucker. I was like, oh, I'm a rookie. <laughs> right? You know, I'm, I ain't no hoe, but I'm like, <laughs> damn. Like, had him big, had his big seven one ass on the ground, nigga, uh -huh. feet was. <laughs> <laughs> had to grab you. Had to, yo. <laughs> this is Wild Times here in Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so already, download that. Use promo code Gill. We'll match your first deposit up to $100. Go ahead, Gil. The last one I seen was, it was 2011, 12, or 12, 13. Well, I was trying out. It was uh, Lakers, you know, like Clippers usually open their gym for uh, um, summer. Summer, yeah. they're playing in there, and then they'll close it. And then two weeks later, the season start. That's when Lakers open it up. So Steve Blake <laughs> and Steve Nash, right? 
I'm busting both their ass. Like, oh yeah, getting them talking shit. <coughs> Steve Nash kept doing something Steve Blake didn't like. <laughs> he kept, I don't know, it was the pick and roll, kept doing a little elbow. Steve started warning him, like, yo, yo, yo. Next thing you know, we're talking about Steve Nash, back to back, MVP, dim. <laughs> he said something, Steve Blake was just like, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> they sitting on the floor. <laughs> hey man, I don't know who gonna win, but look, y'all gotta guard me next. Yeah. Save your image. <laughs> you don't need it, goddamn it. <laughs> but that was the funniest thing. I said, no, you can't you can't punch. <laughs> Yo. You can't just punch your people, man. You can't punch on the MVP like that. <laughs> For college fights. Yeah. She was telling this story about Ruben Patterson. When he was here, about how strong it is, man. Listen, Jack. Open gym, man. Former player, you know. Hugs used to have the former players come back and practice against the dudes that live local. Mm -hmm. so they working out, they come back and practice. So during the summer, you know, Hugs let them get away with murder. Like they ain't never calling fouls on dudes, like none of that shit. So they fucking us up during practice. Mm -hmm. So you know, during the summer, ain't no coaches in there, so it's yeah. fair game now. Yeah. Man, former player, he and that motherfucker, that thot, 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 bitch this. And mm -hmm. rude, man, don't call me another bitch, dog. Mm -hmm. The dun, 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 bitch. The, the, listen, I'm warning you, the last warning, man, hey, he didn't even get the word out good. <laughs> the next one. Ooh, I oh, know that hurt. Man, he mm -hmm. hit him, dog, and it sounded like a gunshot in that bitch. Like, he hit him like this. Your hand was like, mm. bye, y'all. Come to find out he broke dude's jaw, right? Man, that nigga was fighting all that. He tried to grab Rube and ripped his shirt off his back. <laughs> no, he tried to grab him and Rube moved backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ripped the whole shirt off his back. I'm like, damn. Had that break, had them breakaway, <laughs> had the breakaway jerseys at the time. <laughs> I was like, man, them niggas fought so hard for so long, though. We would sit there and be like, man, somebody gotta break it up. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, it's just one of them fights where don't nobody want to get in the middle of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ever been in a fight? Kill. <clears throat> I feel like you were doing that to try to put me as I've been in a few fights. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I got the stars <laughs> to prove it. Who got the word? <laughs> well, you know. Some wins, some losses. Took a beer mug to the face one time in college. Damn. Damn. Fought some Arizona football players, Gil. They did not drop me. Three on one. Yeah. Three on one, they didn't drop you? Yeah. Lyman. Well, I knew your team was trash. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> No, college fights is wild, yeah. bro. Straight bar fight, I'm like, oh shit, like. <laughs> oh, dude, you want, we, we can go for days. We yeah, have Funny fun. shit, football player, you get into it, it's a bastard. They live in the same dorm, send the same chicks, all them niggas get into it over a chick. One of my partners, nigga Aaron, punched dude on the football team and dropped him, right? He was, it was on a couple of them dudes, so they go get the other homeboys. We standing outside and. The dude that punched him was standing in behind one of my teammates. The nigga hit my teammate because he couldn't get to him. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Yo! You took that for him. Mm -hmm. These niggas I had rumbling in the street. This is like my senior year. So, you know, I, I, do that. I can't get, yeah. I damn sure can't get arrested. I ever you. Them niggas running around the street, falling and tripping, cars and shit going by the police. I hear the sirens. I'm like, oh, that's my cue. <laughs> Go back to the dorm. Y'all niggas live in the same dorm. <laughs> like y'all don't yeah. not finna see each other every day. Like over a chick, y'all know what these chicks doing in college, man. Uh, uh.